Hey guys, Sam from Irons Outdoor, and today I am doing a little bit of fishing on this Lifetime Teton Angler 100 kayak. So if you've, uh, if you've been to subscribe to the channel, you know I got this kayak a couple months ago and uh, it performed pretty well so far. But uh, anyway, I will say uh, I'm just basically just gonna be fishing today, but I will be, you know, in the kayak and maybe I'll make a few comments on the kayak and stuff. But uh, I did take a fishing trip that uh, I'm not gonna put on a video, but I, t I went fishing with my dog. I didn't catch anything, so that's why, you know, I'm not gonna make it a video, but I put my dog in the back of the kayak and it was actually stable enough to hold my dog and myself. Uh, but my dog's only about 25, 30 pounds, so. But either way, it still, you know, proves that this kayak's, you know, fairly stable. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna be starting off with a Texas rig today. Just this little uh, Texas rigged Guggenbaits Bandito bug, which I actually noticed they switched to the design of these things a, a tad bit. It, uh, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about or not, but basically Guggenbaits used to have like they used to have like one flap on the end here. Now it's, I don't know, it's slightly different. It's got like two flaps. I don't know, it's a little different. But anyway, we're gonna start off with this Texas rig uh, and hopefully catch some fish. Oh my. That was a fish, that was a fish. Dang it. Dang it, dude, I, don't, I'm, I haven't been in the kayak in a while and I'm not, I'm not used to setting the hook in the kayak. I think I was running with it. Hope it wasn't a big fish. I had no idea how big it was, but oh well. Oh, that was a fish. Got him. About time. Oh, just a little one, but I'll take him. I missed so many fish on that bandito bug. Okay, luckily it is filming. Anyway, there we go. Just a little dink, but I'll take him. The bandito bug. I don't know. I haven't used the kayak in well over two weeks since I've been fishing in the kayak, and I don't know. I'm just not used to it. I'm not used to hook setting in the kayak yet. Or like, because it's been a while, so uh, I was missing a lot of fish. Like I felt him, I knew he was on there, and then I just didn't really reel right. I didn't hook set right, so I didn't get him. But uh, I decided to just switch to the wacky rig because you don't really need as much hook set power, and they take the wacky rig a lot better. So uh, anyway, there we go, first fish. It's really small, but you know, it's good to get the first one. fish another small one he's running with it wow he's really running with it holy cow he ran he's still running with it he ran really far after i hooked him oh well oh gosh there we go another small one this one was very active could not stop flopping the boat got me super wet but anyway second fish we'll take him Oh, shoot. No. Oh, shoot. I'm going to have to go swimming. Well, y'all saw what happened. I don't want to waste too much time here, but uh, my rod is right where that paddle is. Just got to go out there. It's about five feet, or yeah, it's about five feet deep, so it's not too bad. My head will still be out of the water. I'm just gonna be wading through this water. Yeah, there's some big turtles in here, but I think I'll be fine. They'll probably be scared by me. Hopefully I don't get bit by a turtle. Uh, I should be fine though, so. Put the camera right here. This really sucks. Like I do not want to swim, but 200 bucks for my rod. Am I gonna swim for it? Yes, no doubt about it. All right, Alex is here and he's helping me. He's filming now. He put the chest on. 
And uh, I, I gotta try to find this rod because that's like 200 bucks. I'm a little bit freaked out of you know getting bit by a turtle. That's not my, I mean, my number one fear. But worst yeah. comes to worst, I'll throw my wallet, my keys, and my phone out and jump in after you. Like seriously. Okay. I just gotta drag my feet across the bottom, basically, right? There's only. Wait, you wanna push the camera up a little bit? Yes, there we go. Guys, he it. found it. Oh, thank goodness, happiest moment of my life. Totally worth this win now. Oh, I knew I, seven foot rod, like, how could I have not found it? At least you didn't mash it in mud. Yeah, and it's, it'll still work fine. Like the real, yeah, the real hard. Hey, just go hose it out with clean water. Yeah, yeah, that'll be good. And it's not even salt water, obviously, so. Good job, Aaron. Oh, thanks for the moral support, Alex. So I was basically like this. If y'all ever lose your rod, it's a spinning rod, it basically was like this. And I, felt I guess because the weight is so down low, it automatically wants to roll to the bottom. Yeah. Like And a, like a spinning reel is a little bit you know, bigger than like a... It's, it's you know, farther out from the rod than a big casting reel. Well, at least you found it. Yep. There's $220 back. All right, guys. I don't think I would have found it without Alex because I was too scared to like swim after the initial swim. So shout out to Alex for coming out here.